I did an analysis of policy barriers to EMS involvement in hospice. I did that because right now hospice is in crisis in the United States, and in 20 years it's going to be much worse. I work in an endocrinology practice as an nurse practitioner, so I see a lot of patients with thyroid. So this, this study is uh, looking at the effect of a formal educational class on the quality of life of patients diagnosed with hypothyroidism. We were changing the curriculum, and so it's assessing the differences between uh, the two classes and their satisfaction. We looked at the impact of those three neuropsychiatric comorbidities, ADHD, learning disability, and anxiety disorder, on their ability to improve resilience by attending the scan. You're going to have a device that allows you to get those, that testing done with results immediately available to your physician for a tenth of the cost of the current competition, eliminating the wait time and all of the outsourcing that these places are doing that's losing them money. I work in a hospital in Texas, El Paso, Texas, and I'm researching all-terrain vehicle injuries. And I happen to notice an increase in all-terrain vehicles. You can see my Instagrams here over the years. It especially affects children. graduate students were able to uh, benefit a lot from using these ultrasound sessions. They have really enjoyed the sessions and the exam scores show that they also were able to learn a lot from it and retain the information. There's a lot of stigma around FDMC and so that also creates a you know, uh, uh, reluctance among survivors to actually seek out. I've actually shown this to my patients at practice. Um, I've actually shared my data with them, and I've actually extended the time I spend with patients, educating them on how to take their medication and the role of uh, diet and exercise in managing this thyroid disorder. So we found that uh, non-traditional students, the students who took a bit more time between undergrad and starting in medical school, uh, found that their life experience and work experience were factors that really contributed to their success on clinical rotations. It wasn't something that was just like on a bench somewhere and like with test tubes and so that was like the biggest takeaway that I had from this project, um, how, to, how to interview a patient, how to talk to patients and how to do research that actually involves application with patients. It's been giving me the opportunity to kind of get into the community and actually learn aspects of research that more readily available to me. Being on this research team has like given me a lot of experience with qualitative research which I had no experience with. Just being able to work on like doing interviews with real people and like kind of structured interviews where you're really like set on trying to find some uh, certain like conversation points. And I would agree with that, especially um, with qualitative research being working in a team. I, I loved it. I love my team members. <laughs> so just being able to um, analyze those codes and to be able to see what we agreed on or disagreed on. I really learned the value of keeping an open mind when doing research. Sometimes our results didn't exactly come back the way we were predicting, but we could modify it and then move forward accordingly. Uh, it's a great cultural immersion and language immersion uh, program for me, and so I was able to translate my poster into Spanish with the Spanish that I picked up while I was there, especially the medical Spanish. So it was a really great opportunity. So I'm really excited to tell you that we won the Pitch George competition last year, and we're currently in the finals at the new venture competition, which is a much larger competition. So there's a lot of opportunity to get funding for our new business, and we're in the process of trying to secure IP and start manufacturing of the prototype. So my next step will be to do some preliminary research as to reasons people are not wearing helmets, and then design an intervention to get people to use these machines if they're going to use them more safely. There's an enormous opportunity right now to do pilot studies, to do further research in this topic, and to go forward and, and make a big difference at the policy level uh, for a huge number of people.